SolidWorks 2024, as usual, takes weldment design to the next level. It's been almost 20 years since they introduced multi-body parts and weldment cutlass. Now, in 2024, we're using structure systems where you can use simple geometry edges of surfaces, geometry of planes, point to point, to define weldments, unlike sketches of the previous pass. And now to keep this simplicity and ease of use moving forward, we now have the capability in 2024, specifically once we define our structure system, where it'll actually group like corners that are going the same orientation after you define the plane automatically. So when you're going to define which way you want to cope your different corners, it'll apply to that group instantly without having to select each one individually. And you can pick which orientation you want, and you can even zoom in on the specific corners to help see how you define with a gap or what type of coping you want, either left or right orientation and have nice, big, clearly defined graphical interface buttons to define that orientation, to really simplify how it's gonna look and it can apply it to all corners from that one selection. Once you're happy with the selection, go ahead and hit the green check mark and apply it to all the corners that are highlighted. Continuing these great enhancements, we now can go through and add a unit reference to our custom properties. So now, right in the custom properties, you can add the units that represents what the document properties are for that particular file. And not only in the custom properties for weldments, it also applies to the custom properties of the file itself. So we have the flexibility now where we have the units be either metric or inch, which sometimes changes as simple as that. And that change will show up easily and be displayed in the custom properties for both the cut list or, in this case, the custom property for the actual file itself, making it easier to show the correct units and label it with that additional flexibility. The structural system enhancements even continue on in changing dimensions. So for example, in 2023, we would have to adjust the length of this structure member by actually physically editing the properties and typing it in manually. We're now in 2024, it's as simple as just click on it and there will be displayed our dimension. We can adjust it by grabbing the dot through Instant 3D or just click on the dimension like you normally do a feature and just type in your value and hit enter and it'll update on the fly without any extra selections.